Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Axiom airbag jacket. RST are absolutely busting a gut to make airbags affordable for as many riders as possible. And this Axiom jacket is a big part of that. This jacket has an RRP, as we record this video, of £279.99, which includes an integrated airbag, the same one that's used in quite a few jackets and suits in RST's range. Normally, an airbag equipped RST jacket costs 200 quid more than the same jacket without an airbag, so they've probably gone as low as they're ever going to by making this jacket for £280 all in. In fact, this is the cheapest way of getting into an Innermotion airbag full stop. You get the airbag and the outer jacket with this one for less than the price of just an airbag under vest from the companies that sell those. Now, as this is an in and motion airbag, that's not the end of the story financially. The £280 price includes all the hardware, but there is a subscription cost to run it. You can pay monthly, you can pay annually, or have a lifetime subscription. And as we record this, it's £120 for a year, £12 for a month, or £399 for a lifetime subscription. That does prove a sticking point for many people, but lots of riders are used to paying monthly subscriptions and they don't mind spreading that cost. The airbag itself, just as it is in other RST jackets and suits, is informed by a series of sensors that are constantly monitoring as you ride. If that system recognises that a crash is happening, it fires the inflator and you find yourself wrapped in a cushion of air around your neck, your back and your chest. It doesn't require any physical connection between you and your bike and it runs off a self-contained rechargeable battery. In a motion say that'll last around 25 hours of riding and that it takes about two to three hours to charge it up again. I'd say that's realistic based on my experience of wearing a variety of in and motion equipped suits and vests over the last six months or so. So those are some of the details of the airbag. Let's stop and take a look at the jacket over the top of it for now. The outer shell is made from RST's Max Text material and has strips of light reflective fabric across it to help you stay visible. This jacket's mostly aimed at commuting riders, so details like that are actually quite important. There are adjusters to tailor the fit, and they're at the upper arm, the waist, and the lower hem, all of which secure with Velcro. And then there are two vents on the front, and then another at the top of the back. These can't, however, flow air directly to the body as there's a waterproof drop liner on the inside of the jacket. And also there's an airbag itself in the way of these front vents. But having those vents open does allow the jacket in general to run a little bit cooler. The main fastener is a zip with a Velcro storm flap over the top. If rain gets through the Velcro, then this folded flap catches the rain and then it drains down towards the base of the jacket rather than getting past the zip. And then the collar fastener at the top does up with a very simple tab fastener just across there. The cuffs are equally simple. They're on a single Velcro fastener. Yeah, they are simple, but they're also effective and I have plenty of room to get a really thick pair of winter gloves inside these sleeves without too much trouble at all. So last thing on the exterior, there are two cargo pockets. The ends just here are stitched in, so you can't tuck your hands in there to keep them warm when you're not riding, but these pockets are waterproof, so you can keep your stuff dry in there. So switching to the inside, this is where you get really the important stuff with this jacket. The airbag, which is the blue sections here, and the hardware that inflates it, which you can get to by undoing this blue zip at the bottom of the lining. That lets you get to the area where you can plug in the inner box and then switch the unit on and off. The inner box is the equivalent of a bike's ECU and IMU. This is the bit that only works if you've paid your subscription and if you've charged its battery up. It slots into this section here and clicks into place and then double click this button. Once you've got a green light, the system's on and you, know, you can ride off and that system's watching you. If I unzip this section here, you can see the inflator. It's just there. If you're unlucky enough to have an accident and the airbag goes off, then replacing this will get the airbag up and running again. Those inflators are 90 quid a pop and you just screw a new one in yourself and then you can get riding again, assuming there's no damage to the airbag itself or to the outer jacket. There are other electronic airbags available from other brands, but this is the cheapest and the simplest way to get going again after a deployment is with an inner motion bag. All of this is housed in this back protector, which meets the basic level one of the CE standard. That adds a bit of extra protection on top of the airbag, and it also protects your body against contact with any of the gadgetry that is involved in firing the airbag. So going back to the more traditional forms of protection with this jacket, 
This is all backed up by elbow and shoulder armor that also meets the basic level one of the CE protection standard. The elbow armor is adjustable for height. So if it's too low on your arms in its standard position, you can move it up by four centimeters to make sure it covers your actual elbows rather than your forearms. The overall protection level for this jacket is AA, which is the middle of the three levels available. Weather protection comes from a breathable waterproof membrane. It's a Synaqua membrane, and it's the same one that's used in a lot of RST's textile jackets. There's no thermal lining in this jacket. That's one of the ways that RST got the price down to this level. So you'll need to have your own layer to fit underneath when it gets cold outside. There's a long connection zip at the bottom of the jacket that attaches it to RST's trousers, which helps keep out drafts and also rain. Then in terms of pockets on the inside, there's only one. It's a Napoleon pocket that sits just behind the main fastener at the chest just here. Like I said earlier, this Axiom jacket is the cheapest route of all to inner motion airbag protection. That inner motion model with the subscription doesn't suit everyone as some people just won't entertain the idea of paying a subscription to use something they've just bought. That's fair enough, each to their own, but there is quite a cost saving over other forms of airbag by going down the inner motion route and they are also cheaper and easier to restore after a deployment. If the subscription method is something that you're happy with, then this is a very cost-effective way of getting some of the most high-tech protection available watching your back as you ride. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the RST Axiom Airbag Textile Jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.